Hi, I am Dr. Julie Brown. I am a trained chiropractic neurologist and a, I also have a fellowship in traumatic brain injury and rehabilitation. And today I'm gonna to talk about epidemiological studies, your belief systems on nutrition and our nutrition guidelines. I make these videos based on questions that I answer a lot when I see patients. And I always address nutrition because one of the things I deal with a lot is brain injury and you need nutrition to your brain in order to make those neurons work. So it usually comes down to someone's belief system. Why do they believe vegetables are good? Why do they believe they need to eat three times a day plus snacks? Why do they believe that they need to avoid red meat? And those belief systems, once we go a step further, where did the person who told you that get that information? And the reality is, is it comes from the government and it's taught to doctors and to the news and people are making their products, their cereals based on what fits into these guidelines. And chiropractors do get a year's worth of nutrition in their training. Many people don't know that, but MDs typically do not. They have to seek it out. Regardless, our information still comes from the government. Then we go and we say, okay, where does the government get their information to make these guidelines that go into our school lunches, our hospitals, our subsidy programs? Where does that information come from? And it really comes to, uh, it comes from a consensus. A group of people get together, professionals, and they say, hey, we agree on this information. What information are they using? They are typically using epidemiological studies. What are epidemiological studies? They are basically surveys or they look at information after it's already happened. They're not controlled studies. So they will send a survey out to you and say, what did you eat this past year? How much red meat did you have? How much white meat did you have? How many vegetables? How often do you have fiber? And then they will say, did you have a heart attack? Did you ride a motorcycle? They, they ask questions and they create these correlations. Now, I will tell you as a doctor, many of my patients can't tell me what they ate the day before or the day, two days before. So how somebody knows what they ate on average in a year is gonna be highly inaccurate. So our food guide recommendations are not based on control studies to know it's appropriate for somebody. So when I see a patient, it is based individually on their needs and what is going on with them. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know, but what I would recommend is going down your line of thinking and where you, your belief system stem from. One more note to end on, there is a great book by, uh, the author is Nina Teicholtz, and the book is called The Big Fat Surprise. She is a journalist, and she was starting to write a book on trans fat, and it took a whole other road as she learned how poor our guidelines are and where this information comes from. That's it, talk to you later.